whose, whom, which. Do these words always ask a question? No. These W words ask a question only if they start a sentence. Position is the key. Who came to the party? In this sentence, the word who comes first. Whose party did you attend? In this sentence, the word whose comes first. Whom will you invite to your party? In this sentence, the word whom comes first. Which present did you like best? In this sentence, the word which comes first. Who, whose, whom, which, and that. When these words follow a noun, they begin an adjective clause. Position is the key. What is an adjective clause? A group of words that must include a starter word, a noun subject, and a verb. Optional extra words may be added. An adjective clause tells which one about a noun and follows the noun being described. Position is the key. The girl who was celebrating wanted chocolate cake. The girl wanted chocolate cake is a sentence. Which girl? The girl who was celebrating. Notice who acted as both starter word and subject of the adjective clause. The girl whose party we attended celebrated her eighth birthday. The girl celebrated her eighth birthday is a sentence. Which girl? The girl whose party we attended. Notice whose acts as an adjective to the noun object party. A babysitter whom her parents like came to the party. A babysitter came to the party is a sentence. Which babysitter? The babysitter whom her parents like. Notice whom acts as a starter word and object of the adjective clause. The present which she liked best was a new bicycle. The present was a new bicycle is a sentence. Which present? The present which she liked best. Notice which acts as a starter word and an object of the adjective clause. The party that we enjoyed ended. The party ended is a sentence. Which party? The party that we enjoyed. Notice that acts as a starter word and an object of the adjective clause. Who was celebrating? A WH word like who asks a question if the WH word begins the sentence. Who was celebrating? Question mark. If you move the same three words, who was celebrating, into an existing sentence and place those words after the noun, these same words become an adjective clause describing the noun. Girl. Which girl? The girl who was celebrating. The words whose party we attended does not contain a fact and is not a sentence. If you position the words whose party we attended after a noun in an existing sentence, these words create an adjective clause that describes the noun girl. Which girl? The girl whose party we attended. The words whom we celebrate do not contain a fact and is not a sentence. If you position the words whom we celebrate after a noun in an existing sentence, these words create an adjective clause that describe the noun girl. Which girl? The girl whom we celebrate. The words which she received and that she received do not contain a fact and are not sentences. If you position the words which she received and that she received after a noun in an existing sentence, these words create an adjective clause that describe the noun presence. Which presence? The presence which she received. The adjective clause starting words always follow a noun. If that noun is a person, choose who, whose, or whom. Person. Jim, who packed the food, delivered groceries. Jim, whose mom owns the store, delivered groceries. Jim, whom we tipped, thanked us. 
the adjective clause starting words always follow a noun. If that noun is non-human, choose that or which. Non-human. The computer that shut down needed a restart. The computer which shut down needed repairs. Adjective clauses offer a unique way to combine two simple sentences. Before, Jim packed the food. Jim delivered the groceries. After, Jim, who packed the food, delivered the groceries.